Hello everyone, welcome back to Yoga with Yana. Today I'll be guiding you through a relaxing and gentle yoga practice for sore muscles and tension and stiffness in the body. So whenever you're ready, I invite you to meet me on your mat in a comfortable seated position and we'll begin there together. All right, friends, let's begin in a seated position here. We'll bring our palms on top of our knees, close your eyes, keep your back straight and tall. And let's begin to make big circles with our neck, just relieving any tension that's accumulated in this area. Take this moment to connect to your breath. And just fully arrive on your mat. And let's switch directions. And slowly return back to center. Let's bring the soles of our feet together. Interlace your fingers around your feet. Keep your back straight. If this is too much, you can always place a block on either side of your knees for extra elevation. Let's take a deep inhale, lengthen. And on your exhale, begin to draw your chest closer towards the feet. Deepening your breath, feeling that nice stretch in the inner thighs and groin. Keep breathing through the nose, just for a few more breaths. And slowly roll yourself up one vertebra at a time. Let's extend our right leg out, making sure that the right toes are facing up towards the sky. Bring your right palm on the inside of your right leg. Let's inhale the left palm up. And on your exhale, begin to reach that left palm over towards the right foot. You can drop on your forearm, go ahead and do that. Relax the left shoulder down and away from the ear. And just focus on your breathing. And slowly drop your left palm down. Bring your right arm on the outside of your right leg. And take a deep inhale, lengthen. And on your exhale, begin to draw the chest down towards the knee. You should feel a nice stretch in your lower back here as well as your hamstrings. Breathing through the nose. And slowly roll yourself one vertebra at a time. Bring your right palm on your left knee. Let's take a deep inhale, bring your left palm up. And as you exhale, reach it over towards the right once again. For this works a different group of muscles here. You should feel it more in your lower left side of your back. Just breathing here. And slowly roll yourself up. Let's switch our feet around. Bring your left leg out this time. Your left palm on the inside of your left leg. Inhale your right palm up. 
And as you exhale, reach that arm over towards the left. Breathing here. Slowly release the right palm down. Bring your left palm on the outside of your left leg. Rotate your torso towards the left. Let's take a deep inhale, lengthen. And on your exhale, begin to lower your chest closer towards the knee. Deepen your breath. Slowly roll yourself up. Bring your left palm on your right knee. Inhale the right arm up. And as you exhale, reach the palm over towards the left. You can keep your eyes closed and just focus on your breath. Attune to your body. And slowly roll yourself up. Bring your left leg in. Let's cross at the ankles and bring ourselves into our tabletop. I'll just do a quick cat and cow here to warm up the spine. On your next inhale, drop the belly gaze up. Exhale, arch your back gaze towards the belly. Inhale, drop the belly gaze up. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale back to neutral. And as you exhale, step the right foot forward in between the palms. Keep your left toes untucked. You should feel a nice stretch already in your left side. Let's take a deep inhale here. Lengthen. Exhale, sink a little bit lower and towards the right leg. If this is already enough for you, stay here and just keep breathing through the nose. Or you can interlace your fingers, place them above your right knee. And let's take a deep breath together through the nose, wherever you are. And on your exhale, sink a little bit lower. Relax your jaw. Relax your shoulders down. Stay present in this moment. And slowly release the palms down. Let's begin to walk our fingertips towards the back. You can drop on your heel if you can. Let's take a deep inhale, lengthen. And as you exhale, begin to walk your fingertips forward and just dropping your chin towards the knee. If your hips can go down onto your heel, you just can stay in an elevated position here. Whatever works for you. But wherever you are, just keep focusing on your breath. And slowly, let's shift our weight forward, bringing our palms to the front, and let's heel toe the right leg to the edge of the mat, bringing both of your arms on the inside of your right leg. Let's take a deep inhale, lengthen. Exhale, settle in this pose. Keep breathing through the nose. And if you can go onto your forearms, I invite you to do that right now. Good. 
Just one more breath. And slowly, if you're on your forearms, I invite you to push into the mat. Let's heel till the right leg towards the edge of the left side of our mat, moving into pigeon pose. You wanna make sure that your hips are squaring forward, your shoulders are relaxing down. Let's take a deep inhale here. And on your exhale, you can stay here or begin to walk your hands forward, dropping on your forearms if you can. And wherever you are, there's no judgment, just focus on your breath, it's your practice. We're trying to relax those sore muscles. You can stay here. If you wanna go a little bit further, bring your left forearm to be parallel to the front of your mat. Bend your right knee, or your left knee rather, and reach with your right palm towards the left foot and bring it closer towards your hip. This should add a nice stretch in the quads. Keep focusing on your breath. If you're holding on to your foot, release the leg down. Let's press into our palms, curl the left toes. Bring yourself into your tabletop for a moment. You're just gonna sway your hips from side to side to relieve any further tension. And whenever you're ready, let's bring the left foot forward this time. Settle into this pose. Find your expression wherever it may be today. And let's inhale through the nose. Exhale, sink a little bit lower into your left knee. And slowly gaze down, release the palms on the mat, and to walk your fingertips back. Again, you can stay in an elevated position or you can drop your hip onto your heel. Whatever feels comfortable, let's take a deep inhale, lengthen. And as you exhale, walk your hands forward, dropping your chin towards the knee and breathing through the nose. And slowly, let's shift our weight forward. Bring your left palm on the inside of your left leg and let's heel toe the left leg towards the edge of the mat. Let's take a deep inhale here. And on your exhale, find your expression of this pose. If you wanna drop on your forearms, go ahead and do that. You can slightly rotate your left knee out if it helps you. And just breathe. And slowly press into your palms. 
Let's heel toe the left leg towards the right edge of our mat. We're moving into pigeon pose. So dropping the left knee behind the left wrist. Let's take a deep inhale here. Settle in. And on your exhale, find your expression of pigeon. Stay here or bring your right forearm to be parallel to the front of your mat. Bend your right knee, reach with your left palm towards the foot and begin to bring that heel closer to your hip to the best of your ability. Keep breathing. You're holding on to your foot, release the leg down. Let's press into our palms, curl the right toes, bring yourself into your tabletop, sway your hips for just a moment. And let's curl the toes and bring ourselves up into our downward dog. Let's bend into the right knee, bend into your left knee, walking your dog. This feels especially good when you're muscles are sore. This helps to relieve that tension. Just for a few more breaths. And slowly return into your still downward dog. Drop your knees on the mat. Let's cross at our ankles. We're gonna open up our legs as wide as we can, making sure that the toes are facing up. Your hips are rotating forward and let's bring our palms in front of us. Take a deep inhale through the nose and on your exhale, stay here. Chances are you're already feeling a deep stretch in the inner thighs and groin. So staying here is a great option, but if you are a little bit more flexible today, you can drop on your forearms. And just find your expression of this pose. But wherever you are, there is no judgment, just you, your breath, and your own practice. Keep breathing. Almost there. And then slowly let's press into our palms, roll ourselves up. Bring your palms on, on the outside of your knees. Bring your right leg in, bring your left leg in. Bring your palms behind you now and let's just add a gentle windshield from side to side just to further relieve any tension from the lower back. And whenever you're ready, let's cross at our ankles. We're gonna make our way onto our back, bringing those knees in towards the chest, interlacing your fingers around them. Let's add a gentle rock from side to side to massage the lower back. Uh, 
and then slowly return to center. Drop your left foot on the mat. Let's reach for the outside of our right foot into half happy baby. Your left palm is on your left hip. Let's open up that knee. You should feel a nice stretch already. Let's take a deep inhale here. And on your exhale, let's pull the knee a little bit closer to the ground using our arm. Lengthen your neck and just focus on your breath. And slowly bring the knee in towards the chest. You're gonna bring the right ankle right above your left knee. You're gonna thread your arms through the little space that you created in between and interlace your fingers either around your shin or behind your thigh, whatever is more accessible for you today. But wherever you are, let's take a deep inhale, lengthen. And on your exhale, I invite you to drop your head back onto your mat. Keep your right foot flexing. Let's breathe here together. and slowly release the right leg down. I'm gonna switch our feet around. So half happy baby on the left side, reaching for the outside of your left leg. Let's take a deep inhale here, lengthen. And on your exhale, let's pull that knee closer towards the ground. Breathing in and out through the nose. and slowly bring the left ankle right above your right knee. So let's thread the arms through, interlace your fingers wherever is accessible, and take a deep inhale, lengthen. And on your exhale, let's drop the head back onto the mat and breathe. And slowly release the leg down. Let's interlace your fingers around the knees once again and add a gentle rock from side to side to further massage the lower back. And returning back to center, we're going into full happy baby. So let's reach for the outside of our feet, open up our knees as wide as we can. Take a deep inhale, lengthen. And on your exhale, pull those knees closer towards the floor. You can stay in your still happy baby or you can add a gentle rock from side to side. Slowly returning into your still happy baby. Bring your knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a quick squeeze. 
And slowly let's extend both of our legs out, your arms alongside your body into your final posture, Shavasana. <sighs> Taking this moment to allow your body to fully and completely relax. It was my honor to guide you through this practice. From my heart to yours, namaste.